Did you know WhatsApp recently changed its pricing for WhatsApp Cloud API? If you're a business that's looking to automate conversations on WhatsApp channel, in this video, I'm going to be explaining all in detail about WhatsApp Cloud API's pricing, how it works and what are all the changes that has recently happened and what are all the changes that are going to happen in uh, from the month of October. And also towards the end, I will share WhatsApp pricing calculator where you can create your own estimates to understand how much it would cost for you to automate conversations on WhatsApp as well. Before I dive into the changes that was recently made on the pricing, it's important to understand how the pricing works in first place. Unlike traditional channels like SMS where you're charged per message, WhatsApp charges you per conversation. When I say conversation, what do I mean by that? A conversation is a window that is created between two parties, let's say the business that's on Cloud API and the prospect or customer that's messaging your number on Cloud API. A 24 hour window is given between both the parties. Any number of messages that are sent and received between those parties within that window, it is considered to be one conversation and you're charged only for one conversation. However, there's one important thing to note. You have four types of conversations. You could have multiple conversations open simultaneously at the same time. So those four different types of conversations are service, utility, marketing, and authentication. Let's look into service-based conversation. When your prospect or your customer sends the first message to your business number, then a service-based conversation is created. How many ever messages that you reply to that person or how many ever messages your prospect sends, for the next 24 hours, it is still considered to be one service conversation. Beyond the 24 hour period, the service conversation expires. And when the business wants to send an update or um, you know, send a message, they can only do so by using template messages. These are messages that will have to be pre-approved by Meta and the approval takes only a few seconds by Meta to review the content. And the other thing is each template will have to be categorized into three categories, utility, authentication and marketing. So what's utility? Utility are transactional updates. It could be, you know, your business updates that you're sending to your customers or prospects in a doctor patient world. It could be appointment confirmation, appointment reminders in the e-commerce world. It could be payment notifications or order confirmation, order fulfillment notifications. These are utility based conversations. So when you are creating a template, you can mark it as utility, get it approved. When you send the message, the utility based conversation gets initiated. The next 24 hours, how many ever messages that you send on the same category, you are still charged only for one utility conversation as such. In real world scenario, let's say somebody booked an appointment, you want to send them a reminder within 24 hours, then you might be sending multiple messages, but still it's considered to be one single conversation of utility based category only. Authentication based templates are OTP kind of notifications. You can send OTP notifications for authentication purpose and those are categorized into authentication based templates. What is marketing based templates? If your message by any chance has any sort of marketing content, whether upselling, cross selling, um, those kind of things, um, even though you mark it as utility, WhatsApp review process catches that and marks it automatically um, as marketing conversation. Marketing based conversations are charged slightly higher. It's just to you know uh, make sure people are not spamming. Um, you know, businesses are not spamming people. They have uh, optimization algorithms in place and also they make it uh, a bit pricey so people are conscious of how many marketing messages they are sending as well. So now that you understand different categories of conversations, let's look at the pricing. When you're using WhatsApp Cloud API, Meta, the parent company that owns WhatsApp, they set the base pricing for each categories of conversation. There are providers out there who charge a commission on top of what Meta charges and you wouldn't even realize that um, you're paying extra for um, the WhatsApp charges because these are like hidden charges that the platform charges. And some platform even charge from the range of 15 to 25%. That's a bit too high. Um, if you're using any existing platforms, just make sure you know what your commission charges are because they don't openly share that information with their customers. Whereas if you're using a platform like Watermate, there is no commission involved. Watermate is a registered tech provider with Meta. So that means we don't charge any commission. We get you to build directly with Meta. So you get the best price or the cheapest price that's available in the market for WhatsApp Cloud API as well. 
And if you want to look at what the numbers that are set by Meta itself, all you have to do is go to our pricing page and click on the WhatsApp pricing link that we've given here. That will take you to the WhatsApp Cloud API's rate card. And they do have rate cards in different currencies. So if you're in India, you can look at the INR rate card. Um, if you're in Singapore or uh, any other country where your currency is not listed, you'll probably be billing in USD. So you can look at the rate card in USD. And if you're in Australia or Indonesia, you can look at um, you know the rate cards in your own currency. I've opened up the USD rate card and I can see the um, rate rates of each categories of conversations here as well. So for example, Singapore falls and the rest of Asia Pacific. So I can look at the marketing pricing, which is set at seven cents as such. For utility, it's at one cent. And for service conversation, it's at two cent and so on and so forth as such. If you are someone that's um, just getting started with Cloud API, you wanna understand how much it would cost for you to get started with WhatsApp Cloud API, you can use one of our pricing calculators that is in our help documentation um, to um, you know um, create an estimate or based on the number of messages that you're planning to send or uh, you know uh, planning to receive those kind of stuff. You can open up the Google Sheets link and uh, um, basically change the number of um, conversations that are you that you're planning to send or uh, planning to receive um, you can look at you know how much you will be built for those numbers as such you can select your country and if your country is not listed that means it's grouped under one category for example if you want to look at the country mapping you can go into the country mapping and here you know uh, just for example Algeria um, falls under the rest of Africa and um, Australia falls under the rest of Asia Pacific and so on and so forth and such. Yeah, and if you want to look at the actual pricing, you can go to the WhatsApp pricing USD. We put that information here as well for you to refer as well. Now, coming back to what's changed with WhatsApp pricing. WhatsApp has reduced its utility based pricing drastically from the 1st of August. This even makes SMS look a lot more expensive. The reason why I say that is um, in the instance of a OTP transaction, end users typically you know, get two or three messages due to network delays, the issues. Um, they, the business end up paying more than one message for completing a transaction. Whereas if they are using WhatsApp for the same use case, how many ever message they send for the 24 hours to one person is still considered to be one single conversation as such. So you are saving a lot of money over there. And the second use case is um, in the instance of an appointment call, you are sending one message for appointment confirmation and reminders depending on how many ever you send, so it will be more than two um, messages at least in the appointment world. If you're using WhatsApp Cloud API, you're sending confirmation, you're sending reminders on the same day, you are just paying one conversation as such. And that makes it look WhatsApp as a lot more cheaper option as such. In terms of marketing conversation, from October 1st, WhatsApp is increasing its marketing based templates pricing, uh, which is kind of a good move from the eyes of end user that's using WhatsApp app, because um, people will be conscious of um, you know sending a lot more WhatsApp marketing campaigns as such, and people won't be spammed by a lot of uh, businesses and brands out there as well. And if you're a business that's using WhatsApp platform, what you can do is instead of sending a broad enough campaign to all of your users, you can sort of narrow your customer base into different segments and then run targeted marketing campaigns. If you're using our platform for trip campaigns as such, you can sort of, you know, extend your trip period by a little bit more um, just so that your messages are not impacted by deliverability issues and things like that as well. That's pretty much what I wanted to share with you guys. I hope you find this video useful and uh, helpful. If you want to try our platform, um, we do have a seven day free trial. You can sign up onto our platform. The link is in the description and try out all our features, including WhatsApp API as well. Um, and at the same time, if you want to learn more about WhatsApp API or what I mean platform in general, you can subscribe to our channel. We'll be posting a lot of videos. Thank you very much.